Hello everyone, I'm Jim Lewis, founder of Model Train Technology, and today we have a new product. This is an exciting one. No soldering, no wiring. You just, uh, this is called the speed stick, and it has a lithium battery in there, it's rechargeable, and you just turn on the switch and it's ready to go. And what I have here is just an end scale uh, loop going on. And the speed stick is measuring the scale miles of this end scale train as it goes around. It's somewhere around 65 miles an hour. And the speed stick works um, in the scales from Z to G scale, the standard scales for NMRA. Um, so that's the, that's the basic setup. I mean, it's so simple. You just charge it, turn it on, and, and let it go. Um, the arrow shows you the direction uh, that the train is triggered and, and traveling to. Um, if you had this train go by and then had another train that swung by coming from the other direction, uh, the, tra the speed stick would figure out to change directions and measure it the other way. Um, by pushing a single button, there's only one button on here, uh, you can switch from miles per hour to kilometers. Uh, there's a second mode, which is instead of showing you the, the miles per hour or kilometers per hour, it will show you the milliseconds that it takes to travel the 180 millimeters, that's the distance between the two sensors. The sensors themselves are our classic pre uh, precision detectors that use a Class A laser uh, to detect the uh, train. Uh, we don't use infrared uh, reflected light. Uh, it's too fuzzy, if you will. This is so, uh, so very precise. And in fact, one of the things uh, in the first time we tested it, we were getting all this kind of funny results. It's so fast that at this speed, which is pretty fast for, for an end scale train in real life, um, it could detect the space between the cars. So it detected the space between the cars as starting another timing cycle. And so we had to make sure that we were checking the spaces uh, for full cars and then no cars for a little while. And then it would start the, the, the timer and let it, let it go. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we haven't tried it on Z, but uh, if you slowed Z down you, and, and lowered this a little bit, you could probably get the same effect. So I had to engineer a, away from that. So anyway, the milliseconds, and if you have a non-standard uh, scale that you want to measure the speed, um, you can go to our website. There are two widgets there. One is for measuring speed, and so you put in the millisecond time you get from the speed stick, put in the scale that you want to do in, in either one of the scales or type in your own, and then uh, it'll give you the miles per hour, kilometers per hour. You can switch back and forth between them. Um, the last mode is called loop mode. And what loop mode is a simple, uh, just a timer from the beginning of the speed stick, measures all the way around your layout coming back to the speed stick. It'll just measure that in minutes, seconds, and uh, hundreds of a second. And so you can use that if you know the speed and you don't change the engine speed. So you calculate. You, you capture the speed here, 65.3 miles an hour, write that down, then put it into loop mode, measure the time it takes there, and you can go to the second widget, put those two numbers in it, and it will tell you the scale miles uh, exactly of your layout, so how, however you want to uh, loop it around. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, there's all of the, the scales that we are typical, N scale, I'm sorry, Z scale to G scale, using the standard NMRA uh, scales for those, so uh, 220 for Z scale, 160 for N scale, and so forth. And that's it. There are, there's, the instructions are super simple. Um, like I said, it comes with a lithium battery. We provide you the charging cable and the little charging block that you plug, it, plug into your AC. I'll show you those in the close up in just a minute. I know it's kind of hard to read from the distance to cap, that we have the camera to capture all this. So let's zoom in and take a look at the speed stick. This is a close-up of the speed stick in action. We're tracking the Z, uh, sorry, N scale train going around. And uh, this is the yellow display. There's a blue display and a white display. And you can choose one of those three uh, when you place your order. Uh, when the, the distance between these two is 188 millimeters, when the train hits the first sensor, it starts the clock and goes to the second one. So right now we're just uh, the default is miles per hour, and it just uh, just in N scale. So, uh, by pushing this button, as I showed you in the chart earlier, we can change it to kilometers per hour. So I'm just going to press it once, and it switches to kilometers per hour. And now the train will go. And of course, that number will be faster than miles per hour. And sure, sure enough, it is 104 
kilometers per hour as the train traveling. All right, so now uh, what I'm going to do after the train passes this next time, I'll put it into uh, millisecond timer mode, and that's two push buttons. And I'm keeping the train fast so this the loop doesn't take that long. And there you go. And now that was 951 milliseconds. And you can put that into our widget calculator. Um, and this is a good test. Uh, one of the things that we noticed on this loop, there's only one feeder on one side of the track. The track's a little dirty. And you will get variations on miles per hour. Uh, millisecond times is a little, uh, also very slightly. Um, when we put a speed stick in different places in the loop, the train would speed up and slow down um, as it goes around. And that's just based on the mechanics of a very small uh, motor. Uh, this is running DC, uh, and the track has different levels of friction and dirt on it as it goes around. So that's going to be pretty typical. Um, so the idea is to keep it in one place um, and, and have a fairly straight away uh, so the train gets up to speed after the curve, whatever curve you might have, and is at a steady speed when it hits the speed stick. That's the best way to do it. Um, and as you can see, we're pretty close. That's, that's good. All right, so now I'm going to put it into loop mode, which is three push buttons, and it'll tell us that we're in loop mode. And so what now it's going to do is going to clock the time. So it started the clock, and after the train passes, you, you'll see that the train uh, clock is indeed moving and it will come around here and tell you it'll stop the clock and it'll show us that it took 13 uh, and 92 one hundredths of a second and then this the clock jumps to five seconds because when the clock was in the this position it both stops the first timer and starts the second timer and so now you can see uh, we've got a different time uh, it's 1502 and uh, like I said, that time will vary. Um, if you're trying to do the calculation using the widget, you might want to average these times out. Uh, but after a while, uh, the train will settle down to a pretty consistent speed. Um, certainly when you start up an engine like this, a small DC engine, um, the, you're going to have the heating of the motor and all of that are going to have an effect on changing the speed more dramatically during the first couple of minutes of operation. Once the train's been sort of reaches a, a, its operating temperature, um, it'll, stay, uh, it'll stay more constant, okay? So I'm going to change it back to miles per hour. Let me do this. Let's see, there we go. Oh, I might have to click this one ready. There we go. Let's take it off. And let's put it on there. Oh, there we go. Oh. Take it out of... Now it's in stick mode, so push it three times again. And we should have... Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're in millisecond mode. And I'm going to put it back into... Mile, mileage mode. There we go. Kilometers. Push it once more. We should get miles per hour. There we go. Oh, I triggered it. Let's do that. Yeah, if you accidentally trigger it. So it'd be kind of crazy if you push here and go here, you'll get a really fast speed. You can play, you know, crazy stuff with this. But anyway, now it's, it's set up and we'll back to miles per hour in N-Gage. Okay. So for HO scale, what we would do is just move this one, two, three, four, five, six, according to the chart, and now it's an HO scale. And you'll notice that the speed that's reported is going to be slower than it was in N scale because, of course, the scale is larger. All right, and that's really it uh, for the speed stick. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to just push this one so you can see what the white display looks like. Okay, and I put my hand in front of the sensor, but now we should be okay. There you go. And the blue display. You may not be close enough to it.
Oh, there we go. kilometers per hour now and we'll put it into miles per hour there we go oh move those out of the way that's what was happening it, this <laughs> silly so this precision sensor was seeing the other sensors because they were uh, within five inches uh, so now I think we've got it going yeah and you can change that, like I said, you can set this to um, only be an inch away or so for avoiding the parallel track. So that was a good experiment, given that um, I didn't notice the other speed sticks were in the way. It was acting funny. And now we're all set. So there you go. That's a demo of the speed stick. And these are, will be available in about 10 days. So you can order now and they, some will ship before the end of the year. And uh, we have all the parts. The challenge was lithium battery. Oh, yes, I should show you that. Charging, the, uh, so charging this is very simple. So you turn it off, and these, this is the C-style battery that the European Union made Apple change all of their uh, power adapters to this type. And the advantage of this one is that it will go either way. You don't, there's not an up or down to it. It'll go in either direction. And once you plug it in with the power off, the green light will come on and now it's charging that lithium battery and uh, if I didn't mention it the, the speed stick with the yellow display has been going on for uh, more than eight hours on and off uh, so it lasts quite a long time um, and you can just get a, a quick speed check uh, uh, charge there and and then just put it out back out and turn it on and there you go so that is the speed stick and those are available from model train technology. So uh, there's some links below the, in the, uh, the video on the YouTube. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you wanna see other videos from model train technology, the subscribe button on your upper right, uh, a lot, just sends you a notice that says there's another video from model train technology. So great, thanks very much for watching and um, we'll, we'll see you next time. In this video, we're going to show you how to set the distance, the auto calibrate mode of the speed stick. And I'm going to stop the train in front of the speed stick. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just back up a, a little bit from where I want uh, the setting. And what I'm going to do here is turn it off, turn it back on and let it get into its startup mode. And then I'm gonna just hold the button. Now the light went on and now it went off and it's come back on and it, now it's going to start blinking. And so just leave it there. And after uh, 10 blinks, it, you can adjust it while this slow blinking is going on. The fast blinking means that it's just calibrated the distance between the front surface of the, the speed stick to the front surface of the, the engine. And so we can pull it up here. And I'm gonna just pull the car ahead a little bit. All right. And I'm putting my hand on the track. Let's put it up a little bit. There we go, here and here. Okay, so here and here. But here and here, so on the parallel track, which is only, you know, a couple of minutes, oops. You know, it, 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 the speed stick is not, uh, bothered by that. So uh, this is a great way if you have parallel tracks and you just want to track and set it up to, to get to the speed of this. Uh, there's a reset mode, 13 pushes of the button will set it back into uh, the five and a half inch uh, range view if you want to use that. But that's all it is. And then after about 20 or 30 seconds, the display will go off, but it just pops back on when you have uh, a, a reading to show.